Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Before I show the video of sort of the eye look that I did with the um, Pure Minerals Palette Soul Mats, uh, there's something that uh, I kept, I wanted to mention to you all and I kept forgetting. And excuse my neck, I am going, it is so red, <laughs> I'm going, going hardcore on these neck wrinkles. I've about gotten rid of this one. And then I've got two more down here, but my, my neck's real red, so please, please ignore that. It'll, it'll get better. But um, it's a movie, actually a documentary movie, uh, that I wanted to recommend. Uh, it's kind of close to me because it took place, um, well, the town where I grew up, not this town, was a real small town in, uh, before I got to my teen years. I grew up in a real small town in Tennessee. Uh, kind of in the mountains, and um, it takes place in a town that's just a couple of miles down the road from where I grew up, and my brother actually filmed part of it, part of it. Um, and it was picked up by Miramax and um, distributed and everything, and it's a film, it's a little film called Paper Clips, and what it is, is um, this, the town that, that was close to Whitwell, Tennessee, close to where I grew up, uh, they decided to do a project about the Holocaust. And so they wanted to show, uh, in their own minds, they wanted to realize how many people were killed in the Holocaust, six million people, how many people that was. So they wanted to find a way to demonstrate the vastness, the amount. So they thought, they re remembered, or through their studies, they realized that Norwegian people would wear uh, little paper clips on their lapels is kind of a little silent protest against the Nazi occupation. So they thought that's that ties into it. So we'll collect paper tip clips, and we'll get six million paper clips and and see the vastness of it. So they started telling people about it, and they started telling their senators, and they started telling their congressmen, and it got to Washington, and it, it just snowballed. And just went, uh, went went crazy, so they got uh, paper clips from uh, President Clinton, from President Bush, from Steven Spielberg, from Tom Hanks, just all kinds of famous people, and um, they would get um, like a little note. Like sometimes they would get one paper clip. Uh, and it would be because for my aunt so and so that was uh, in a concentration camp, or you know, it would just all be so meaningful. And um, to date, I think they've gotten 30 million paper clips. But um, I've been down there, and so they what they've done is, and this this is in the movie too. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump that. They got uh, one of the cattle cars from from Germany uh, that transported the people to concentration camps. And uh, so that box, that cattle car is full of the paper clips. And so you can look in, it's part of it's glassed up and they've kept it all rough and everything like it was. <clears throat> and you can see the vastness of the paper clip and you can see some of the famous paper clips. And uh, you can see letters that, um, that, that German children have written um, to like, the children in Whitwell, and uh, it's just very, a very, very heartwarming movie. Uh, it's just one that will stick with you and that that you won't forget. And like I said, it's uh, my brother did some of the filming, so it's a very personal movie to me. Uh, I plan on going back there again soon. Uh, it's it's about an hour from where I live now. <clears throat> But, uh, you know, this is, this is an area I'm really familiar with. It's been a good part of my life there. And so, uh, I, I'm going to go back, and when I do go back, I will take you all with me and film it. But anyway, so it's called It's Paper Clips. I know you can um, rent it on Amazon Prime. I think you can rent it from Netflix, too. Uh, I'll put a link down below about, about it uh, and places where maybe you can rent it. But that's a movie that you might want to check out. Uh, okay, so here is the I look for the Pure Minerals Soul Mats. Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Uh, last week, 
Was it last week? Week before last week, uh, Miss Kristen, uh, Kristen three two one and I went shopping. I picked up uh, something that I wanted to talk about today. It is the Pure Minerals palette eyeshadow palette in Soul Mats, and it is a beautiful palette. Um, it's all matte shades. Just really, really, really gorgeous. And so I thought as I was putting my makeup on this morning to get ready to go for work that I would just kind of show you how I like to put it on because it is just, it's got some beautiful colors in it. Just beautiful colors. Really, really, really like it. The only thing about it that I wish was I wish that it had a little bit darker. I wish that brown was a little bit darker. Um, I think it could stand... I think it, the palette could either stand to have like a charcoal gray or a um, oh a soft black or a black or a deeper brown. But the colors are named on the back, but they're opposite. Like this one is named over on this side over here, so that's a little confusing. I think they should have. Okay, so I'm going to start out with one, two, three, four. Uh, better half, and it's this color right here beautiful color and I'm going to put that all over my lid and I'm just going to use the little brush that came with it to do that because it's you know it's not a bad brush and it needs love too okay oh let me tell you what I've got on so far <clears throat> I'm doing some experimenting with foundation. So today I've just got on the Laura Mercier in Rich Vanilla, the mineral makeup. Uh, I've got on uh, this L'Oreal True Match Concealer. I've got on the Delicioso Pink by Milani. And I, I don't know about you, I have a hard time getting these little compacts open and I have on um, Paint Pop Painterly and by Mac and I have on um, a second this is this is Dervish eyeliner from Mac uh, lip liner from Mac and my three custom color lipstick okay so that's what I have on my face so far Okay, so I have on the first one um, all over the lid, and next I'm going to go into uh, that brown color with the Sigma E45 and go in do my crease. <clears throat> what I really like about these eyeshadows is that you can really um, blend them easily and you can really just, you know, get it, the intensity that you want from very light to very, very dark. It's easy to, it's easy to blend and to apply more color to. Okay, that's what I've done so far. Okay. Next, I'm going to use just a little pencil brush and go into this um, Alter Ego. Go into Alter Ego, which is that burgundy color right there. And then just kind of place it a little bit in the outer corner because it's a, it's a strong burgundy color. Just using a little pencil brush. Okay, and then I'm going to take a, a 
think it's a Sigma uh, E35, and then just, it's kind of fluffy, and then just kind of, looks, just kind of blend that together. Very, very blendable. Very blendable eyeshadow palette. Okay. I'm going to take my itty bitty tiny little brush. This is a MAC brush and it has been chewed on, of course, by Oliver. It's the MAC 228. 228. And I think I'm going to go back into that brown again. This one right here. Go under my eyes. And bring it up like this. Go to the top. I think this is where a darker color would have um, come in handy with this to sort of, you know, line the eyes and maybe do, you know, an outer corner. I mean, an outer um, liner under the eyes too, but especially on the top of the eyes. Okay. And I'm just going to take this color right here. It is um, Companion. Right there. Kind of a yellowish color. Okay. Then I'm going to use my NARS uh, Via Veneto. And uh, top line and do my waterline. And some mascara. I'm really, really loving. I still got the sample, but I bought the full size um, benefit. They're real, and I really, really like this mascara a lot. It's not, I don't think it's considered a waterproof, but it, uh, boy, it stays on all day. Okay, there you have it. It's the Pure Mineral So Matte. Um, I showed a palette of my life. I really like it and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.